Hi everyone, it's Muriel. I am back with my final video for the night. <laughs> but I just completed the altering of the mason jar as I shared with you in my earlier video that I wanted to do. Now this is the mason jar that Marissa over at Creative Young Mama altered for me and it's really beautiful. And while I wanted to alter mine similar to this one, I could not even come close to it. This is just simply beautiful. But I did try, and this is good enough for me. Again, this mason jar houses all of the felt circles. So I basically made one of those 90-second flowers that we make using the 2-inch glue uh, circles. And I had some of that uh, swirly uh, beaded string, and I just kind of swipped it around. And then I took another piece of lace, and I just put that around the outside. So this is like a larger type of flower on top. Two rows of flat back pearls. Underneath that is a um, yellow, um, what is that called? Um, washi tape. Thank you. <laughs> and then I just layered this uh, lace here. On top of it is a row of these flowers. They're like a thin layer and then these light weight flowers. I bought this from the Deals on Real bag at my local Ben Franklin shop. And then this is that ribbon, excuse me, that, yeah, ribbon that I purchased at Hobby Lobby. It was like 64 cents for three yards, paper ribbon. So it was perfect to cover up because the jar itself was ugly with the writing on the outside and then what was in it wasn't attractive, it was just felt circles. So. And then at the bottom, another layer of this beautiful beige lace with a row of the flatback pearls. And these flatback pearls I purchased from Hobby Lobby. They were like um, three in a pack by, I believe they're by Simplicity, I'm not sure. So now I'm just waiting for this little doodad my little buddy Marissa. Hopefully you can find them if you can. I would appreciate um, getting some. I'm going to go to my Dollar Tree and my Dollar Rama and see if um, I can get them because I think once it's propped up then they're going to be gorgeous. So ladies that's what I did. I have some other projects that I'm going to work on when I return from my crop and um, I'm trying to get my candy jar, candy station set up. So um, these canisters here were given to me uh, for my birthday when I got flowers. So I had one um, for this year, and I think one were in, um, I think Christmas. I think I got a, a thing of flowers for Christmas, and so I got, they're both the same, so I had these two. And when... Anna Giannis gave me all of those flowers. That's all of them in there. There were so many that I decided to just put them in this jar. So now I am looking to altering the outside of this jar. And then uh, with this one here, these are all of my spare part ribbons. You know, those um, stiff ones. Plus there's some Jolie's, the felt ones. Um, pink, ones that I don't want to get smushed up because I have a drawer and the packs of flowers lay this way and they get all crunched up so I wanted to have these still loose so that they would keep their shape and I was looking on um, a YouTube channel I believe it's Sassy Scrappers I believe that's her name of Sassy Crafters and as I was looking on her channel, I found one of her videos uh, where she altered, yes, yeah, Sassy Scrappers, where she altered jars to put her flowers in. But as I started the video, it, it, as soon as she started speaking, then the video just stopped. So, 
I got to go figure out if it's my computer or I was going to send her an instant message and just ask her maybe to send me that video because she looked like she had some just like this and she was working with them. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, when I get back from my swap, my crop is to work on altering these jars so I can have this cute candy station. Okay, ladies, take care and continue to keep being creative.